Hello, welcome back to our coverage here of the Triton Super High Roller Series. Rui Kao now joins me. Unfortunately, you were the first one to bust the main event and you went out in quite a style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last one to join and first one to be out. But I'm on Tell us what happened. Uh, pause, uh, open, and the cutoff. I decided to 3 by on the button with 4 5. And um, Richard Young made 30k for a bet. Decide to call, we're pretty deep. I'm in position, and flop comes King 8 6, rainbow. He bets 20k, I call, turns uh, 6. He bets 30k, I decide to float here because maybe I can bluff river. And uh, I think he can definitely have some 4 bet bluff because I, I, I 3 bets a lot. so. I just flows and river, unfortunately, is a seven. I make a straight and uh, he shove and call. He got full house kings. So. <laughs> and how much history do you have playing with Richard? Uh, we play a lot together in cash games. Because he seemed really happy about you busting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have some history and uh, we play a lot in cash games. And you had a last longer with Paul as well. Yeah, we had to last talk longer. to us about that. So what was on the line? We were on the table. Uh, we had a small. Last longer bet on the table. And but you're not going to tell me what? Just <laughs> 300k, Hong Kong. Okay. And how's it going now? Back, it, You're back in your second bullet now? Yeah, I'm back just here in my second. It's going well, actually, I saw. Bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost made uh, what I've lost on the other table. <laughs> and talk to us about what games you're normally playing, because you're not really in the tournament scene that much. I see you You haven't cashed in a tournament since 2014. Yeah, um, I just mainly play cash games because tournaments I don't like to try too much and uh, it, it's pretty tough tournaments too. So I prefer to play cash games in Macau and sometimes online. I think it's, uh, it suits me better. So we were talking to Tom and he said that the online games were not so good anymore, yeah. but the live games in Macau were, were much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Games been, because we're playing a new, new game now, new format. It's uh, Shore Deck and it's a lot of action and uh, very, it's very good games for Amateurs, both amateurs and pros, I think. So you're playing short deck nearly all the time in Macau? Yeah, most. I mean, yeah, I would say a lot of long deck too, but uh, some short decks in Manila and some other places. And how did you find the tournament here, the first short deck that we live streamed? Yeah, I enjoyed it. First time I play a short, short deck tournament, and I think it's really fun. And you're going to play the, the short deck, the 1 million yeah. buy in yeah, as well? Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Okay. I'll be there. <laughs> Unless uh, I go deep in the. Yeah, we're hoping for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> in the long deck one. And where are you? Are you based mainly in Macau? Obviously, you're French. London. Oh, okay. Yeah, I live in London. But uh, I, was, I grew up in France. Yeah. I was born in China, grew up in France, and now I live in London. But uh, I spend some time in Macau and all the rest of the world. So. A man of the world. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us, and good luck in the main, and of course, the final uh, tournament as well.